What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kendall, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Karyuma Katiba Pro skate shoe. Quick disclaimer before we start the video, this video is not sponsored, and I purchased these shoes with my own money, so these are all gonna be my personal opinions. Now, Karyuma has been in the skate industry now for like two years or something like that, um, but what really drew my interest in the product was the fact that they were sustainable and eco-friendly, and that's what really drew me in to wanting to buy them in the first place. Now, before we get into how the shoes skate, let's talk about what's in the box when it arrives at your door. So the shoes come in this green box. It's kind of like their whole branding is this green, eco-friendly branding. So right whenever you open up the box, you immediately see two pieces of paper. One is a little handwritten note that tells you, hey, your purchase planted two trees, which is awesome. If you didn't know, every time you buy a pair of Karyuma skate shoes, they go out and plant two trees, which is just great. On the second piece of paper is a design image. And on this, it kind of shows you all the design elements of the shoe. On the back of this, it kind of gives you some information about the shoe and about Karyuma as a company which is pretty cool. Now once you get past the paperwork, you're greeted with this beautiful, minimalistic shoe design. There are a lot of people that are saying that they hate the way this shoe looks, but for me personally, I love it. It's like super simple, super simplistic, but also iconic at the same time. So I've been skating car Yumas now for about six months. Um, my first pair of shoes were the off-white version. As you can see, they're pretty dirty. These are the shoes I've been skating for the past six months or so. Got these back in March. But recently, about two weeks ago, I picked up the black ivory colorway, which I'm kind of a sucker for white shoes, but I think these for sure look the best. Like, this is just an iconic looking skate shoe and I love the design, love the way it looks. The shoes also come with an extra pair of laces for each shoe, which is super nice. The laces are actually made out of recycled plastics and the aglets, which are like the little tips of the shoelace, are made out of metal so they won't fray, which makes it super easy to lace up your shoes. So now that we've talked about what's inside the box, let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's talk about how the shoes actually skate. And as I mentioned before, I just picked up this pair of car humans about two weeks ago, and I was originally only going to do my review on the first pair, but I am so glad I got a second pair because I forgot how awful they are at the beginning. So these shoes have a very long break-in period. Um, I have skated these shoes about four times, so four separate skate sessions, each skate session lasting over two hours, and the first two sessions were awful. I couldn't figure out how the shoes flicked. They are really painful to wear on your feet, but once they break in, I really enjoy how they skate. Like, I think they skate very well after the break-in period. Karyuma has built this shoe super rugged and it's meant to last a very long time, which is great. The shoe is super sturdy. It's got a lot of ankle support, but at the same time, when you make a shoe this sturdy, it's really hard to break in and it's really, really stiff. So it's kind of a trade-off and you kind of have to balance it nicely to get the perfect skate shoe. But again, I don't mind it hurting my feet right now because like I said, after they break in, they skate really well. Um, a trick that some people use to break in shoes, I know that I used to do this with my soccer cleats in high school, is to put them in the microwave, but warning, uh, remember the aglets, the tip of the aglet is metal. And if you put that in the microwave, your shoes are gonna catch on fire. So just be very cautious. If you do wanna put these in the microwave to break them in, you've gotta take off the laces. Now inside of the shoe is a Mamona oil based cork insert, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't really skate a lot of big things, but I will say after an extended period of time, the heel starts to like compress. So on my older pair of shoes, when I was skating stairs, I would really feel the impact in my heels, especially if I was bailing and landing on my feet rather than the board. So if you are gonna jump down anything super tall, especially if it's like taller than you, you definitely wanna get a separate pair of insoles that are you know, way more supportive than what they've got. Now as for the wear test, I honestly can't tell you too much about it because I am someone that skates rubber grip tape. I don't skate the typical sandpaper style grip tape, but I will make a quick comparison between these two shoes. And I skated both these shoes with rubber grip tape. So these Adidas match courts, and again, I skate rubber grip, so there's not a lot of wear and tear right here. But these shoelaces are ripped to shreds. I mean, look at this, like very frayed, very damaged. And again, this was with rubber grip. The Karyuma shoelaces, however, have no wear and tear at all, which is wild because these 
these shoelaces are made out of recycled plastics and they're a higher quality than these cotton shoelaces from a standard shoe. So if that's any testament to wear, I do think these are just a little bit more durable. I also skated these longer than those Adidas. The Adidas shoes, I think I skated for two months, something like that, and I've skated these for about six. So I think they're pretty durable, but again, your mileage is gonna vary, especially if you're using typical sandpaper grip tape. Now the reason I just picked up a new pair of Karyumas is because my left foot, which is my flick foot, uh, the shoe kind of blew out. So right here, there's like a big hole. Um, and I, th I think that's okay. I think it's just from natural wear and tear. Like you're constantly flicking with this foot. So the rubber is naturally just going to wear away and eat away at the shoe. And this was just getting too dangerous. It was getting too loose. I didn't want my toe to pop through. I didn't want it to, I didn't want the shoe to collapse and be like roll my ankle. So I decided just to retire these and get a new pair of shoes. And considering that I rode these shoes for six months with rubber grip tape, I think that I got plenty of mileage out of the shoe. Especially considering a typical skate shoe with sandpaper grip tape lasts like three to four weeks before you have to start shoe gluing it or patching it up with hot glue or something like that. So I think I got my money's worth out of the shoe for sure. Speaking of getting your money's worth, this shoe right now currently retails for $89, so about $90, which is on the higher end, in my opinion, of skate shoes. I know Nike and Adidas, their shoes can get way up there. And typically, I'm a person that only buys shoes when they're on sale. So this is the first full-priced pair of shoes I've bought in a very long time, but I will say I enjoyed the shoe and I got my money's worth and they're eco-friendly and I help plant some trees, which is just cool. So my final thoughts on the Karyuma Katiba Pros are pretty simple. They're a good looking, eco-friendly skate shoe that after they break in, skate very well. And I think I'm gonna keep riding them for a while. Now this look into the Karyuma Katiba Pros is not telling you whether you should go out and buy these shoes or not. Ultimately, that's up for you to decide. This video is just my personal opinions and experiences with the shoe after having skated it for six months. If you got something from this video, please hit that like button because it helps me out a ton. It'll help other people see this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.